Diesel dualies are big. The Chev Avalanche is big. But there's a niche out there that bigger is better. The more you stand out, the better. The higher, the louder, the brighter is better. And if your Hummer just isn't quite doing it for you and you feel more like steak rather than broccoli, maybe you should look at the International MXT. The, the XT family was originally developed as a military type vehicle. The CXT was the first vehicle that was developed and we have since developed the MXT and the RXT. And again, because of the uh, uniqueness of the product, we felt that we could introduce that to the civilian marketplace. But it will be an excellent truck because of its unique styling for that commercial user who wants to stand out from the crowd and be different from the other guy that's out in his business. And keep in mind that International is a commercial manufacturer. That's who we've always been, that's who we'll always be. The MXT is based on a military vehicle, and you do see a lot of Hummer and Jeep styling influences, but a lot of the components are shared right across the industry. For example, it has a Dana rear end, and it's hooked to an Allison 1000 transmission. The brakes are 15 inch on all four corners, which some other trucks share as well. Now this truck does not have an airbag rear suspension, so they chose tires that have an enormous sidewall. Now this should really help out with the ride. Again, the tire is huge, and the wheel itself you can only get from International. Eight lug bolts, so this isn't a wheel that you're gonna go to the local wheel and tire shop and find. The exhaust itself, the tip, chrome, and huge, means business. Aluminum running boards, gigantic mirrors, which really help when you're looking backwards, but do create a little bit of a blind spot out the front. It's just something to get used to. The engine itself is international six liter diesel, variable vane turbocharger, 300 horsepower, 530 foot pounds of torque. Now with a lot of parts on this truck, International chose to use as many off the shelf parts as possible so you're going to have no problem with servicing this truck for years to come, which of course you're going to have the truck for years to come because it's built like a truck. The very first thing you notice with this International truck is it has very aggressive styling. Now the grill itself of course is traditional International family grill. Now on the Limited you can get a Bentley style grill. But the bumper itself is not wrap around. It leaves the front tires very exposed, which in itself is a very aggressive look. The front tow hooks are huge and bright. It has the same size tow hooks on the rear, as well as an LED taillight. And when it comes on, boom, you know the truck is slowing down. The MXT can tow 16,000 pounds. Has a lot of really good features, like this backup camera, which helps you line the ball and hitch up. Makes for no more fights with who's ever helping you. Comes with a class four hitch. Now the box itself is aluminum and the sides are fiberglass and just hung on it. It is beautiful aluminum checker plate and the bottom of the box is actually ribbed for your pleasure. You cannot get a fifth wheel in the MXT. You have to move up a truck to the CXT. The first impression when I got when I got in this truck is it screams look at me. It's all about attention. Now you would think that a lot of these trucks, being trucks, they drive all the same, but in fact, they don't. This one actually has a much smoother ride than some of the other big trucks I've driven. Now I attribute a lot of that to the tire size, very large sidewall, so the tire itself is actually acting as a lot of the suspension. The engine power in this pretty much the same specs as some of the other trucks as well, but for some reason this truck feels a lot faster. Now we certainly didn't do any kind of a zero to 60 time because after all, it is a truck. The interior in this truck, like the other trucks in its class, is very well laid out. It is in some places a little more spartan, in other places a little more generous, so there are trade-offs between all the trucks in the market. This one definitely has a more sporty feel. The seats are leather trimmed, not full leather, but leather trimmed. They're quite nice. It has a giant cooler in the center console, will hold a lot of ice. In fact, it even has a drain in the bottom. You wouldn't think that something that was this big would actually be fun to drive, but in fact it is. Even people that I've come across who completely disagree with this kind of a vehicle for its size and for its use of our resources somehow smile when they get in. I wonder what that's all about. Now, trucks in this class tend to cost quite a bit of money. So they're marketed to people that actually have a generous or a lot of disposable income. But International also wants you to know this would be a great truck to advertise your company. It draws a lot of attention. Okay, so what you end up with here is a truck that is actually way more fun to drive than it should be. But you can't buy this truck to drive around. I mean, where would you put it? You can't park it. You can't go through the drive through So you end up buying it for work or towing something really heavy. The thing is, when people who are completely against this type of a vehicle, because it's way too big and it uses a lot of resources, when they get in, 
they get in with a smile on their face. Now, what does that say? It says that maybe for that moment, they'd rather be a hunter than a gatherer.